Okay, so we're going to do some hand stripping today, as promised. Um, Mabel and Gable are my willing models for today. Gabriel's got a beautiful coat, but as you guys will see, he has these patches here that are just, they're almost like suntanned bits. They're, they're kind of, they get, it lightens with the sun and um, it needs to go, basically. So Gabriel's never been stripped out really or anything before. I've done a little bit of work on his, on his head, but that's it. But so we're going to try and do it in real time as much as we can. So we're going to use these. Theo, I mean Gabriel, sit. What's these? Oh, what's these? So we'll put on our little finger bobs. Sit. Come on. On my finger and my thumb. Okay. So. I'm going to do finger and thumb. Start peeling back away. You see, he's not going to mind this because it's quite, it's quite good. It's quite itchy. So look, this is, this is where we're at. You can you do this yourselves. These are the best things to use. Okay, so you're just going to do this, and I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this quite quickly because I'm going to show you how quick you can actually do it in. So you can see all this here, all the the tan stuff. It all needs to come out. All the loose stuff is basically just dead here. So when it's like that, you can just pull away. You don't have to be too fussy. You can just pull out what's there. You'll see it comes out so quickly. You can, you can take a, I mean, Spoonies have got really thick skin anyway, so you can mm -hmm. take a good grip. Let's just pack up that pile and show how much has come out already. Yeah, so we've done, we've done that much already What's in it? seconds. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep going. Doesn't matter where you start, because you will see what needs done. If you want, if you can start from the top and work back, great. But it, I mean, Gabriel's never been done before. Well, I should really put two one two sets on because the tent is. I can't believe as much has come out already. <laughs> so there's, so there's, so there's loads. Look. Oh yeah. So it can all just come out. But this is to show you just how quickly and easily it can be done. Because the, the, lots of people go, oh, I don't know how to start. I don't know where to start. Well, this is where you start. I might put another set on because I do tend to swap hands. <laughs> Gabriel says it's not so bad. Well, <clears throat> why is it tiring after a while? Um, it's just because you seem to get you tend to get the um, a different angle. Right. So you'll see you, if you get carried away, you can do two hands. But <laughs> it, sometimes you'll see you be doing this patch here, and then you'll see oh you'll go, oh you'll start working way down here. Mm -hmm. So that's why I tend to put two sets on. And. He, uh, yeah, once we've finished, you'll be able to see, hopefully, the bits I've done. There's this patch here, it's been quite sunburnt. If you see this bit here, so it's starting to see that, see this bit, the bits here, around his neck and stuff, that have started to kind of be lightened with the sun. Yeah, that's, that's just dead here. I say hi, Gabriel. <laughs> yeah, hi, Gabriel. Okay, well, I'm going to keep doing it. Come on. There we go. So... Yeah, I'll show you how much has come off after we've finished. But yeah, just get yourself some finger bobs. He says, oh man, this is good. Wait, wait, wait. And start pulling. As you can see, there's no, there's not exactly a start and finish point. You just keep going until he's fed up or you get tired. And then you can start again another time. It's just having that confidence, just get, just get stuck in. It's difficult to do bulb patches with these dogs because they've got so much hair. So you don't have to be fussy. And if it's dead here, it's just gonna come out as easy as that. You see, he's not that bothered. And he's never, this is his first time getting stripped out, so it was a good way to show you where to start and how to start. So we do a bit on his head now. You see. See, he's not that bothered, it's quite nice. Hello, my boy. Everything's done with just a good relationship between the two of you. He wants to spend time with me, so with you guys, it should be the same. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. It's not hurting in, in any way, shape or form. What you're doing is you're getting 
all that dead hair off. See, you could do a bit of hair, don't know how he's going to look. These bits here you can do. But, basically, watch with the head. The head's the one place where you can get a bald patch. Done it many, many times. It's usually on a dog that's due to go in the show ring and I get a get bit carried away and then before I know it I'm like, mm, whoops a daisy. Right, we'll do it back on his back because he likes that bit. Sorry, we'll move you around again. So you can see how quickly it can come together. And this bit here is pretty much, I thought he's at the wrong side for you to see, but this bit here is almost done. I want to show you a bit on his legs because the legs you can... Gabriel, up here, come here. Come here, Gabriel, come here. Oh, just go right. I want, to, I want to see your legs. You might have to go that way a bit. There we go. There we go. Right. See these bits here? I see them so often with dogs that are not getting groomed. And it just drives me mad. Gabriel? He says, I know. I was waiting for you to do me. So just tickle me there for a minute. So what we want to do, we want to get rid of that. There's no reason why that should be there. It shouldn't be there. Okay. So we're just going to, again, always pull in the same direction as the hair grows. Oh, here's your sister coming up for a wee looky. <laughs> and we're just going to, come here, come here. Just going to, just keep pulling that away. <laughs> He's not quite as easy as Teeny Weenie was. Well, you're awake for us to start, Gabriel. And he's the size of a small horse. So, <laughs> but it, well, I, we can do this. So I'm doing. I mean, you can kind of fluff it up a bit and then take bits. I'm doing it quickly because I want to show you the, the, the kind of end result. So start to finish in how many minutes? That you just pull away, keep going down the front of the leg. Look at that already. Yeah, it looks much better. No, oh, no. Yeah, 100%. He's, he's, he's resigned to the fact I'm pulling hair out of him and that's that. And look, I mean, we're getting absolutely tons of hair that's coming out. Yeah. And we've done this for just minutes. Yeah. So this leg is pretty much done. Teeny weenies playing around in the background. And here's Mabel comfortably shot. Hello, Melena. Hello, Melena. So, I can show you that hand stripping is quite an easy job, but and it, it, it is literally minutes out of your day. And, and if, if they don't like it, Gabriel's not terribly fussed. We'd rather be playing this sister, but just do it, you know, when they're sleeping or when they're relaxed, and just take off bits at a time. And there we go. So, start to finish, a few minutes. We've got that rubbish off his back, all the loose stuff off his back, and he's got a leg that looks like that. That does look much better, yeah, totally. That's, so, so That was just a few minutes as well, so. So that, that covers pretty much the hand strip because that's all it is. You're pulling in the same direction as the hair, and all you're looking for is a smooth finish so they don't look like hair monsters. Which bits would you not strip out with your fingers? Well, the bits that are sore. So see on the head, see this is a, the, a difficulty with the head is because the, these bits can be a bit tender. Mm -hmm. You judge by their reaction. If they start freaking out, then you know it's sore. Mm 